Okay, we've got the, uh, we'll call it the beta version of our gasifier. On this, we've got a one inch inlet for the air and fuel. And this moves up and down, is sealed off with some uh, real high tech uh, tin foil. And uh, all things paid for by hostilehair.com. So come check me out if you want rabbits, quail. Uh, we even got links to aquaponics and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, back to the gasifier. So it comes in here, this is a four inch pipe. Cap comes down, and it's about an eight inch drop into the funnel. And right there in this area is where the uh, oxygen is supplied or the air is supplied from above, comes down to here, roughly. So that's where the fire is. And then I have a swirl filter built in to the same area where the reduction layer is. It comes to about here. Shaker grade is, is right underneath of that. And that's hooked up to this uh, piece of all thread. You just shake that back and forth a little bit and everything falls down the level, including my torch. Anyway, so the idea is it swirls this way and drops most of the particulates out before it comes up this way. I know that that is not the exact design of a swirl filter. I'm just hoping it works. The reality is I had this built for a much bigger gasifier, ended up not using it um, for it, and so I want to make good use of, of this piece of equipment. So I'm into this whole thing about 200 bucks. Uh, now, for you gasifier nuts, you know that a 90 degree angle and another 90 degree angle isn't the best thing for flow uh, when you're starting this thing up. Uh, again, this is beta. I'm just using parts that I had around the house, trying to get this done without uh, spending a bunch of money. All right, we'll clean it up as soon as we get this thing working. So in here, the idea is this will be the scrubber and we'll load it full of water and then put the harvester on top. So next video, we'll be lighting it up.